Gotta use the nice clean ones for them to poop on. <laughs> All right, today is roost building day. So, show you what we got going on here. We have a few things to contend with here. Our continual feeder is gonna sit right here. And we have this door. So, our roost is actually gonna be on hinges. So we can lift it up and clean out underneath. So we have to pay attention to how everything is going to fit. So I have 45 degree angles cut on both ends of these two by fours. And for our space, these are just, uh, these are 92 and 5 eighths studs, just standard length. And I just cut the 45 degree angles as long as the two by four. So, um, Obviously you can adjust those numbers to whatever kind of space you have. You want this? Yeah, I suppose I could check that out, huh? Well, we know the walls in here aren't level, so... Yeah, the whole building is leaning. But hey, it's 100 years old. It's not doing too bad. the wall because the rest of this needs to hinge and our continuous feeder sits right there so if we put another full length one there and had it hinge up with the rest of it it'll hit the continuous feeder and we won't be able to lift it up so our roost bars will actually just sit onto that one give it support and still be able to hinge up. Oh. Okay, so we're only gonna do three roost bars. That's gonna be we a want them flat like this so the chickens can put their feet flat on there and cover their feet in the winter time. So I made a frame for the window earlier. I got boards with a 45 degree angle on them already. So as you can see, that's going to match up the bottom. I will cut this square and we will have good support. I'm going to cut one, see how it works out. Guess and check method. It's scientific, I'm telling you. That's going to have to be just a little bit lower. What do we got here, Mom? It is perfect. So on the long end, they're eight inches? Yep, from the long point. And the other end is just gonna be square. So I'm just cutting a whole bunch of these. Just like so. Right, I'm gonna put the temporary screw into these to hold them where I need them. So I'm doing this odd type pattern here because in an old building, the studs are not 16 on center like they should be in any other building. 
And like I explained before, we have a door to worry about and we have the continual feeder. So, so that's what we're dealing with. Me to hold this side. Yes, please. Up there. There you go. Right there. Don't move. Okay. Move. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to still hold it, but um. not right where I'm working. You lost your bit. Bit. We haven't done a dad joke bit in a while. You got a dad joke? I don't have a dad joke right now. What's the difference between a square and a triangle? <laughs> <laughs> Inside joke. Ha! Huh. But we're outside. <laughs> There we have it. The roosting bars. We're going to make it hinge. And I'm going to have a rope going up to a pulley on the ceiling. So we can just lift it up, tie it off, clean it out. Now, obviously, there's more than one way to skin a cat. This is just the way that I saw it to make it easy. Uh, the other thing I was thinking about doing was actually notching out. But we already had the 2x4s. And for something like that, I would have needed two by sixes. So this is what we landed on. This is what I'm going with. Not at all. <laughs> Where is the pulley? Rope. Okay, so this just hook around like that. Okay, so. Okay, so let me step out here and view it. Me too. All right. So we simply 
Lift them up. Scoop the poop. Make sure that it's secure on there. <laughs> we might need to get the metal plate. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Well, that'll make it easy to clean underneath there. 